the dream. Take everything, turn it in to compost. Except the cat. Genesis, the recompostinator. Re Reclassified mower into compost machine. The problem of having just too many mowers. The solution, the contrapanator. A hybrid of a bin and a lawnmower and a stovepipe to create a compost making machine. All conveniently poured into one wooden bin. Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm here to conclude the fantastically awesome, amazing series of the Contrompinator. We now have C tested the unit actually out here in the garden, uh, which I probably didn't film, uh, to see exactly does it work as expected, and it does. So we're going to shoot a video today of it doing what it does best, just chopping the hell out of stuff. We've got some corn that's been knocked down and harvested. I've also got these sunflowers. We're gonna probably do a little time lapse because you don't wanna watch me shirt them all, I'm sure. Uh, the first batch that we did of the corn, which you can see is already down over there, is actually uh, amazing. What it does is actually make silage. <laughs> uh, we had done it and then I left it there for a week and uh, the bin was steaming hot and smelled like silage. So we hauled that right off to the, the compost piles and we're gonna be shredding up some, uh, some potato plants, maybe not. And the contrapanator, it tends to work better on long wooden structures. For my garden space, I traditionally, when I'm removing top garden vegetation, is just use the bagger mower here. That's a big vacuum cleaner. The bag's just over there somewhere. The cat was laying in just a minute ago. Uh, we essentially just grind up everything. This machine is made to just take a beating, hit dirt, stacks, fruits, whatever. Chops it all up, throw it in, throw it in the compost pile. So. Uh, whatever we don't hit with a contrapanator, which will take all this big stuff out, then we'll come back with this guy, vacuum it all up and till it up it's for our garden. So uh, we'll do a little bit of a, I'll show you a full start video on this thing. Since I think I edit the hell out of them because this thing starts like a lead bread, lead bread, lead brick. Um, so I'll show you a full what the hell it takes to get this thing going and then we'll just chop the hell out of stuff. To uh, start this particular mower, after you check the gas and the oil, of course, I uh, never did put an air filter on it because I figure, well, the organics are good. No, they're not. I'm just lazy. I haven't done it yet, but there might be another video for that. Uh, the primer valve doesn't work at all. So what you have to do, the safety is actually squeezed down all the time. Uh, so if I have to shut it off, I pull the spark plug. So that's on. So I'll give it a couple pulls with my thumb over the intake. That tends to suck gas into the carburetor. And then pretty much after that, it'll go hopefully.
Well, that's not quite as far as I wish I could get along, but something was going to happen. Either my bin was going to get full or I was going to run out of gas, and I ran out of gas. So uh, the tank is stone dry. But as you can see inside here, you can't because it's really dark, but nice thing about the <coughs> contrapanator is that it can slide on its table here quite nicely. So you can pull it right back. And that's how I unload it is I just move it forward, shovel out the front and the back quite a bit. There are some chunks, but that's okay for compost. I mean, this is the first run, so a lot of the fine stuff will be going. And the recompostinator will actually take care of the rest. Uh, underneath the mower, how does it look? Actually, I haven't looked in a while. It's uh, crammed, packed. I don't know if you can... I don't know if my camera angle is good enough here, but... Oof. I'm going to tilt my camera. It's a better view. Oof. There we go. Uh, cram packed full of corny goodness. <laughs> you can see the nice waste spread everywhere and all over the place. And uh, I'll probably clean that out prior to uh, restarting the unit once we get some gas in it. And that is just packed because that's what you expect. Um, it doesn't kick back a lot as long as it's full of stuff. So as long as you've got material in this chute here, uh, the airflow out isn't too bad, but occasionally you'll see it'll be poof, puff right out when it's clear. Um, and it leaves all these droppings you see here, but that's where the, you know, mulching mower will, or bagger mower will just suck all this stuff up and it'll go in the compost anyway. Uh, the future service for this after we clear out all that and I might try another time lapse when I get to the sunflowers those will be fun to watch get chopped down and chopped up uh, is to go over to the compost piles we've got a bunch of stuff there that is needs to maybe get cut up as well the whole genesis of the video was to cut up some old sunflower stalks and so that's kind of where this thing whole got started is I wanted to be able to cut those up I try to avoid dirt because my blades are sharp or are supposed to be to help cut up this corn material so uh, I'll do dirt later, but for now I'm just trying to keep it to the vegetate, vegeta the vegetation, I guess, that's the proper word for that. So that's that, the contrapanator. Now I've got two of them, Dr. Seuss-like names, the contrapanator and the recompostinator. Uh, we'll see what I need to come up with next, but this really nails my compost issues. Uh, the only other thing I can see that is kind of a pain in the garden, of course, is uh, tilling, but I have tillers. And they do fine, so I'm not sure I can improve upon that. Uh, so if you have any ideas and you'd like to see a really lame video series about how it's done, hey, now's your time to comment. And with that, we'll bid adieu to this series. Any other videos we'll have will be just whatever maintenance on the contrapanator. But if you follow the playlist, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. guys thanks for watching leave any questions or comments down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel for awesome updates on what i'm doing uh, please check out the next video i've got lined up for you and also uh, check out my patreon page if you want to support what we're doing here and finally check out my other less tractory page red barn homestead you can subscribe to that too see some awesome stuff and we'll see you next time